to you on PCR FM. We team up on a Monday with Peterborough Positive, the city's business improvement district, and we meet various city centre businesses. This week, I've been along to the Wood Green Pet Charity Shop in Peterborough, and I met their manager, Mark Kingley, to find out about the work that they do. We're in Long Causeway. We've come up to the office on the second floor, and Mark, it's good to see you. Can you maybe start off by giving us a little overview about Wood Green generally as a charity and the care that it gives to pets? Uh, Wood Green's a uh, charity that's been on the go since 1924. Um, so we take in, look after, rehome and rehabilitate um, unwanted pets. I've been there. And whenever I go there, I love anything with a wet nose. It breaks my heart to see all of these <laughs> pets, these dogs, these cats, all sorts of animals looking for a new home. And when they find a new home for their little four-legged furry friends, it's so heartwarming, isn't it? No, absolutely. And um, as I'm sure a lot of you, a lot of your uh, listeners have heard and, and watched on our Channel 4 show, The Dog House, um, it's really, really heartwarming. But it's a charity that needs to raise money. So one of the ways they raise money is through their charity shops. And we're in the one in Peterborough. And maybe people listening don't even know it's here. Long Causeway in the heart of Peterborough City Centre. And wow, you've got a a packed and and big area selling all sorts of things. No, absolutely. Yeah, 21A Long Causeway. So come along and have a look. Yeah, we've been here a number of years now. It's a very successful shop with a great team. And we'd love to see, you know, the customers in there. And as you say, every penny we make goes towards uh, looking after pets. Let's talk about volunteering. Yeah. Um, this store, like I guess a lot of the, the charity shops, they rely on volunteers. So do you have any vacancies for volunteering? What can you tell us about opportunities that you give to people that want to give some time? We always have volunteer opportunities across our entire estate, all 26 shops. We never stop recruiting. We're always looking for uh, people to come along, say hello, find out a little bit more about volunteering roles. Uh, we have a number of roles available, whether that be till operators, uh, donation sorters, uh, steamers. It really depends on what you're interested in and what you'd like out of volunteering. What kind of person are you looking for? Someone that has free time, obviously, but w- what other characteristics might, you, might a good volunteer need? OK, so we have volunteers of every gender creed color um from the age of 18 right up to i believe our eldest is 86 86 absolutely and they're still going strong far more energy than me i'll tell you now (laughs) um so yeah we don't have um you know a set face for for what we're looking for we're just looking for people who are willing to get a little bit of time uh to the charity to help us make as much money as possible in our shops I wanted to ask about the role of sorting out the bags that get donated that must be a lot of fun to do that it is a lot of fun to do that, yeah. I mean, you never know what's going to come in. Uh, you never know what you're going to be sorting out. Um, you can have great donations. Um, you know, you can have some that are not quite so nice, but they're still valuable in terms of the fact we can sell them. Um, so, yeah, you never know what's going to come in. Every day is different. How many bags of donations might you get typically in a week? It really depends on the shop. But in Peterborough, they tend to get about 40 donations a day. Wow. A day? A day. That's a lot of sorting. It's a lot of stock. But at the end of the day, we need the stock. The more stock we have on the shop floor, the more money we can make. So, I was just having a little browse myself. There's books and CDs and clothes. And I mean, you, you name it, this store has it. Lots and lots of board games. Um, is there anything that, that particularly you think people come in here because they know they're going to get that or that or that is, or, or are you just a general all-round charity store i think bearing in mind the demographics of peterborough and our culturally diverse it is we have to have a real range a real big offering so we try to offer something for everybody uh, as much as we possibly can with the space we have got two more questions one of them is about the centenary celebrations because i understand wood green's going to be marking 100 years as a charity yeah 100 years since 1924 when the charity was first founded in wood green in london yeah and it's november the first i understand the actual centenary date it is indeed yeah so we're doing various celebrations across the uh, organization in our shops uh you know we'll be decorating putting up bunting uh celebrating as much as we can whilst obviously still working hard uh, what we're also trying to do in our shops is raise £100 per shop towards the charity as part of the 100th anniversary. Excellent. So if 26 stores all raised £100 yeah. or more, that's that's a good boost to the to the charity generally. Absolutely, it is indeed, yes. Yeah. And then the final thing I wanted to ask about was Christmas. It's starting to be on people's agenda now, and I wondered if 
Wood Green. I wondered if you had any celebrations. Were you doing anything? Are you doing anything special for Christmas? We always look after our volunteers at Christmas. In terms of in the shops, obviously they'll be decorated up. But as far as our customers go, you know, we welcome everybody to come in to buy a green Christmas present, as it were. You know, come in. Uh, buy something as a present rather than go to another shop and buy it brand new. Buy something pre-loved. Pre-loved. Yeah. One thought I had was, if there's companies that do Secret Santa, rather than saying, oh, spend a tenner or £15 on anything and then hand it to your work colleague, how about if all of the work colleagues said, right, we're supporting Wood Green or any other charity and you must buy something to the value of up to £15 from that charity store. That's the secret Santa rule for our company this year. It's just a thought that someone mentioned to me. Is that something that you've heard of before? Do people do that? I haven't actually heard of that before. It's a great idea. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So if there's any businesses listening, you know, or your work colleagues, wherever your, your office or workplace is, maybe jump into uh, Wood Green. Come and see Mark or any of the other volunteers and perhaps choose Wood Green as a, a destination to do secret Santa for for your workplace this year. Uh, It's great to meet you, Mark. Keep up the great work and thank you for talking. Thank Thank you. you very much for your time.